It says we're live. And now we are live on YouTube Live. Okay. Channel 511.com. Uh, this is, uh, now we did a live stream last week, but uh, video technical issues. We've got that ironed out. And here we are live with video uh, and the <laughs> new fully operational Channel 511 Studio C. So um, <clears throat> for those who have tuned in, I'm sure there's millions that have notice of this and are all tuning in as we speak. But uh, I think a, a couple things we ought to just recap. Uh, we just finished up with the Blitz. We have we discussed a couple of things. Obviously, Shalvin was, uh, you know, that's the big story of the day. And they wanted to talk a little bit about um, uh, Maxine Waters' comments and how that might affect the trial. I think the most interesting part of all that is not that Shalvin was found guilty. I think people sort of expected that to some degree, just depending on how many. Uh, but, you know, they had an interesting question about the publicity and during trial, the publicity. And uh, what I like the most about that is we got to talk about Sam Shepard. The, the the old doc up in Lakewood, Ohio, who got convicted back in the back in the fifties. I think he was the he was down here at the old Ohio Pen. Remember the Ohio Pen there on Spring Street? Yeah, my oh. great uncle died there from appendicitis. Did he really? Yeah. Wow. I remember. Uh, yeah. Dave, David Allen was, or not David Allen Co. Uh, <laughs> David Allen Co. Actually, yeah. David Allen Co. Did spend time in that pen. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. he's think, from Akron. You know? Did yeah. he really? Yeah. 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 Old Sparky. That was the uh, electric chair. There. They called it Old Sparky. <laughs> and when I was a kid, my dad used to drive us by and say, "Hey, there's a prison there." And I'd be like, "Really? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense." And it was. I mean, in our kid, in our childhood, there was a prison downtown. Now, when Columbus. did they tear it down? It wasn't. I mean, it was in the eighties, late eighties, early late eighties, early nineties. Yeah. yeah. And then they have uh, That's what I was whatever just... that archway or whatever when yeah, they first there. started doing that whole renovation that became uh, the nationwide arena and all that stuff. That was one of the first things they did. Yeah, it was, uh, they tore, they tore that down. I remember there was always talk of doing something there and then they end up putting yep. the, the Clippers there. Yeah. I, when I first moved here, I remember they were tearing it down. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. So we got, uh, we got to talk about Sam Shepard a little bit and pretrial publicity and that went all the way up to the U S Supreme court. What's interesting about that is it involves some players who we later came to know, like, well, obviously the fugitive, of the TV show, but F Lee Bailey, old Fred Bailey got involved in that mess. And, uh, he was known at the time as a as a um, emerging polygraph expert, believe it or not. I think he was a former police officer and or investigator. And then he was doing, he was he believed in the polygraph technology. And uh, he came down to defend uh, old Doc Shepard after he was convicted the first time. And, you know, that was back in the day when they still had these, they still do actually have them, but they they relied in great part on something called a coroner's inquest. So the coroner up in Cuyahoga County, uh, the guy who did the autopsy, they did an inquest into the cause of death. They had hearings, they called witnesses, they did all sorts of things. And there was a big to-do, and I understand the exchequer over there did a term paper on this back in high school. It makes him a pro yeah. expert on it. Um, but they had a big to-do about the fact that the blood patterns in the bed sheets, the pillow particularly, I believe, was there was an outline of something that the coroner at the time said uh, we know it was Doc Shepard because the outline I'm seeing in blood here is uh, mimics a surgical instrument. And F. Lee Bailey, I think, famously, or how, I don't know if it's famous or not, but for whatever reason, it, I remember it. He made some comment like, I wonder if anybody has asked this coroner exactly what medical instrument it looks like. Because by my standards, it doesn't look like any medical instrument that's being used today. And somebody said, well, nobody asked him. And he said, well, you can bet that I will. And, uh, you know, they, he appealed the case all the way up to the Supreme Court after the conviction uh, based on pretrial publicity and uh, how that might have impacted it. And, and the, it was really sort of a watershed moment. The plain dealer took some hits on that because they actually, you know, they made it their mission to go after after the doc. I mean, they went after him. Everything was overblown. Everything was in the news. And it was a, it was an enormous story at the time. So, uh, it was said to have a carnival atmosphere, the it, trial. Yeah, it was, uh, and it the was jurors a weren't sequestered or anything. Yep. It was insane. So yeah, it was, uh, it was crazy and it got reversed. And, uh, you know, I guess the parallel to the Chauvin case is if you look at it, there was a pretrial discussion and motion by the defense to um, uh, deal with the pretrial publicity and sequester the jury or do something. The judge said, no, I'm not going to do that. 
And then in the midst of it, there was the other shooting, um, uh, Daquan, which one? I forget the name now. I'm, I'm drawing a blank. But uh, the, or the, the, the officer mistakenly grabbed a firearm instead of a taser. And that happens in the middle of all this. And there was another hearing to discuss sequester. Uh, the judge said no. And then you had Maxine Waters making comments shortly after that, after more rioting and protesting, peaceful or otherwise. Uh, so it became, you know, th there's enough there where at least they got an argument. Now I predicted on the blitz and I'll predict here. I do not think the case is going to get reversed. I don't think it's going to be enough, but, um, uh, we are, uh, we're certainly, certainly something to appeal along with any other issues that might be there. There's always an appeal. Yeah. I mean, people all the time, like, I can't believe they're appealing it. It's like, well, why wouldn't you? Well, I mean, yeah. What, what, do you, what, was, you got, what do you got to lose? Yeah. If I was sitting in that chair, I'd be <clears> like, yeah, appeal it. Appeal it. <laughs> I mean, trust me, you want all the court dates yeah. you can. Yeah. You know what I mean? They would love to get out. Yep. Who wants right. to sit around? Yep. So anyway, that was discussed on the Blitz. Somebody else talked about a will and some other questions. So that wasn't, uh, uh, I don't think any earth shattering there, but it is, you know, it's, it's, it, you know. I was, I was hoping for more calls. I like it when you get the calls and things come in, but we both knew that, you know, I mean, from yesterday, you know, th there was an anticipation waiting to hear from it and everybody had to jump on it. I knew they were going to ask you about it. Yeah. And we even texted last night. We're like, should we talk about the Chauvin verdict today on lawyer talk? And I'm like, I bet we have no choice because the blitz is going to beat us to it, you know, and that's, um, I don't want to beat a dead horse with that anyway. It's, uh, that's old news already, huh? I mean, we both predicted, you, you came in that day a couple last week and last Wednesday, I think. We were said, on the show. Oh yeah. We were on the show and I just, yeah, I, 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 I that's the way I felt it was going. I, I still clung to my to the bitter end of my theory that he would be acquitted on the first two and convicted on the last. I am uh, I'm not surprised he was convicted on all, uh, but it is what it is. I, I, I am I do not think it was necessarily obvious that he should have been convicted on all of them just from a purely legal analysis, though I certainly, as I said on the blitz, the standard you have to look at it now is there just sufficient evidence if you believe it uh, to support the elements of the offense? And yeah, probably it, it'll, it'll it'll stand up. But um, there was enough. There's enough back and forth on causation and some of the other stuff. I thought the jury might let him pass on the first two. And then they wanted to ask you about what happened last night, which I always hate when people at want your judgment or or your before you in the morning. Something yeah. that happened last night. Oh, you're talking about the 15 year old. I'm talking here about in the 16 year old that that uh you know me was wielded a knife and and was shot. Can we get that up, Jay? Can and, we get the story up there? You know, so it's. The, uh, it, try, you're, you're, you got it up on your laptop? I and do. People, you know what I mean, are quick to judge. So it should be on one. Something that you don't know about. I'm sure this is national news. Oh, you can do it with your button right there, man. Just one. Oh, I can? Yeah. Uh, hang on here. On one. I don't see a one on here. Yeah. The first top left button. Oh, laptop? Look at that. Yeah, oh, the one look that, at that. The one that says laptop, right? Hold it. That's weird. What's weird? It's backwards. Backwards. Everybody remember that we are just, this is our first yeah, I mean, live. It's, I think we're okay up there. So uh, oh, up there you're yeah, okay. I think okay. we're okay. So okay. here's what we got. You know, here's the story up there. If you can see it, great. There was an officer in Columbus last night. And apparently there was a call. There was a fight between two teenage girls, uh, I think 15 and 16 or something like that. And the police arrive after a 911 call. We don't really know yet exactly what happened. But we do know that uh, when the police arrive, there's, there's body cam footage that shows one of these uh, ladies, young ladies, going after the other, holding a knife. I don't know uh, exactly what the circumstance. Police, unfortunately, ended up shoot, had them pull the trigger, and they they shot the the aggressor. So, do we have the videos or any way we can get it? Uh, I am having a hard time finding the actual body cam video. All right. Well, apparently, we don't have access to it yet. I'll I'll look. We will. So. The question that uh, Randy and Loper over on 997 had was, what do you think? And like you said, you wake up in the morning, they're like, what do you think of the stabbing? I'm like, I don't hear about it yet. So yeah. I'd do some quick research. Um, I, 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 but they were quick to judge last night. People immediately took to the streets. Yeah. And, I mean, I don't want, there's just, you, you kind of got to get the information. You kind of got to look for the facts. You kind of got to hear what's going on. Uh down to this, this is something totally off the subject, but just caught me off guard was that Chittenden incident over here after the spring game. Oh yeah. Yeah. The, the rioting down there. Well, they're the, the partying. They just, were flipping cars. Just 
total wilding. Why? You know, I mean, I saw these videos of this and I was like, this just happened. And, you know, there's always there's like a spring and a fall party that go on in Chittenden and yeah. <clears throat> I forget the intersection. You know it. You probably went there at a young age. But they're just like flipping over cars and literally rolling them down Chittenden. And it's like, this is some girl's car. Yeah. Uh, a college group probably got liability coverage, you know. Right. And, and just smashed their, rolled their car down. And, you know. Well, this is a weird time. Well, uh, not that Ohio weird. State has been, th those kids have been locked in their rooms sure. for a year. Not now, kidding. No, right. So you can understand how it could happen, how people could just go crazy. But I would say this. I mean, we all remember the times when you could go down to campus on a game day. They'd close off Lane Avenue. And it, I don't, rem what, I don't remember if I was of age, underage, whatever, but there was no restriction. I would sit with a 12 pack on my shoulder <laughs> yep. and then you wouldn't even throw that. You would just toss the beers into the street. Everybody would yeah. just do that. And the police were there on their horses watching you. Nobody cared. And then they stopped it. Then finally they're like too much. Uh, and then the riots started. So people needed an outlet to go somewhere else and do it. And they started having dumpster fires, cars are getting flipped, same kind of thing. And only because Ohio state won. It's like, we're going to party so much that we're going to get so drunk that we're going to start flipping cars. And that's what happened, I guess, last week. Oh, it's just. A, it, so how many, how many people were allowed to go to the game? I forget. I don't remember. It was, I remember my son telling me that uh, the, the tickets sold out almost immediately. Yeah, was, was it was like 25,000. Yeah. Not even. I don't think it was that much. And it? It, the more, well, I mean, the horseshoe seats, what, like 140,000, 150,000? 110, 112. Now, I think more people went. Or more people were allowed than usually go. Well, I remember one year I went to a spring game with my nephews, and there were seventy thousand people there. Yeah, seventy-five thousand people for the spring game. Yeah, well, maybe I'm wrong then. I, but anyway, um, there was a there. It, it, the, the reason why I ask is because <laughs> Alabama had fifty thousand. They don't care about any restrictions. Yeah, yeah well, <laughs> that's right. But uh, it turns out that I think you're right, Jay. That what's going on is people are just sort of shot out of a cannon now, man. It's like yeah. the, the, the kids have been cooped up and you can only, you can only plug the dike in so many places before it breaks free somewhere else. I mean, the, the, the there's going to be an outlet and it, it, you know, maybe this, the incident last night was part of that where it's just people have been cooped up. People have been locked up. People have been uh, restrained. People have had no contact with others. I mean, how many dinners have you had? compared to what you would have had. Now, some are going to say, oh, I don't care. I've been going out to dinner and doing whatever. But a lot of people haven't. They're not going out. They're not seeing people. They're not, uh, there, there's, there's unrest in the world. But how many traffic mm -hmm. stops happened in the United States yesterday? I mean, I don't know what that stat is, but I'm going to have to assume that it was a very large number. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. I and, remember the last time we talked about this, I looked at 10-year average. It was like 9 million a year. Something, yeah. something ridiculous like and, that. And what you're getting at, obviously, is that compared to the number of traffic stops, there are still statistically almost marginal uh, violent incidents. And leave race out of it for a second. Like just everybody who might get hurt, shot, or killed as a result of a traffic stop, it's um, it's one is too many. Um, but oh, I'm sorry, twenty million a year nationwide. Twenty million a year, and. Woo. So that's a lot. And, and statistically, uh, I would bet, I'm guessing, that the number of shootings or violent incidents, however one might define it when they did the study or when they do the study, is going up because of all this craziness. So the police are pensive. The police are nervous. The people getting pulled over are pensive and nervous. And sort of like, the, like we talked on the Blitz, like that when you're when you're nervous like that, you're overthinking every action. That's when you tend to do things that you regret. That's when you make mistakes. That's when you you get in your own way or your head gets in the way of what you're trying to do. And you're not operating on what your instinct tells you, but you start to question every move and then mistakes and, you know, tragic things happen. Now, I'm not saying for a second that this uh, shooting last night with the, with the knife incident is a mistake. It, it may have very well been uh, the right move. But that was your point, right? Nobody has actually taken a second before uh, taking to the streets to say, I wonder what happened. I wonder if that was avoidable. And I wonder if it wasn't avoidable, was, was it uh, the result of some animus on behalf of the police? And I'm not saying the answer to those questions are one way or another, but they're legitimate questions to have before you draw judgment. I think anyway. But what do I know? 
I just like to think about stuff. Uh, I can roll the video if you want. Yeah, let's do it. Here's a screenshot. Uh, that looks like a knife in her hand. Wow. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty crazy. Let's roll that. I don't know if we're going to get sound or not. I don't know either. <clears throat> oh, decision. But you were explaining, hold on here, I think we got to go coming through here, but you were explaining, let's see what we got. I'm not hearing any sound. Yeah, we may not get sound. That's all right. We got enough here. All right. So what we're seeing here is, uh, looks like, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Now they're, it's a body cam and they're coming up. Holy crap. That happened fast. Jeez. Oh, Pete. Oh my God. What is going on? That's a full blown fight. That sure is. That one dude just took out that girl. Holy crap. Ola. God almighty. Now she's shot. Wow. That is awful. Yeah. Well, and how quick do you have to react? Holy crap. Wow. Man. Broad daylight, too. 4.35 p.m. And what is going well, they on? Were, they were gathered for the Chauvin um, verdict. Oh, is that what that was? Yeah, Man. but apparently there was some scuffle between these two young girls. Some history. Some kind of history. But what was that 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 man did? He totally he kicked, boot her. kicked some yeah, girl. That was a that was a curb kick, man. What the I heck? Mean, it was like kicked one down. So there looks like there's a whole lot more going on here. Wow. So that that's, boy, that's like let's go back. I want to see that initial. Yeah, that was that was quick. So there they are in the cruiser. So they're, he's coming out. He flips on his body cam. It looks like. Yeah. He's out. Yep. Door closed. Running up fast. Yeah, he's like, ho, ho. Whoa, 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 what whoa. Is, who oh, is my that? God. Yeah, what is that? Dude, that dude totally kicked that girl right. in the head. In front of the police. In, right in front of the police. And then the girl, the girl pink. goes down, and yeah. then the, the girl that was in the pink Good was just about God. to get stabbed. The girl, That's what you yeah. see. Yeah. Yes. If you back it up again. Let's go back. Go back. The girl in the pink is coming in. See, it look, almost, But I don't know, man. It looks like the girl in the pink is coming at her. Oh no, she's there. No, she's, she's there. She's, she's by the police. Yeah. Oh man, this girl gets knocked down, and you turn around the Kicked. fight there, there. And then oh, she's, she's coming out. Oh yeah. man, yeah, she's going right at her. Then the girl in the pink runs Holy off. Holy yep. cow! Man, I man, I don't know. Man, that is so. Let's how look at this. Hard is that? I'm going to analyze this in a couple different ways. I'm going to start with just if I were a civilian, and or any of us walked up on this, and we see a fight like this. And generally speaking, now Ohio has changed the rules on self-defense. We now have stand your ground. And what that did is it sort of modifies the old approach. The old approach would have been uh, em employed a duty to retreat. So you should run away if you can. Uh, and, it, and now we don't have that as much. You can stand your ground. But it, it, leaving that aside for a second, it, generally speaking, if you want to employ, if you want to use self-defense, you're allowed to use whatever force is necessary to repel an attack. So, Jared, you you say I hate you now because, um, you know, your podcast is better than mine, that you're going to kill me. And you come at me with a knife. If I happen to have some way to defend myself from that attack, I'm allowed to do it. And not only am I allowed to do it, I'm allowed to use deadly force because a knife coming at me, I mean, let's face it, you could kill me with that. I've defended many murder cases that were stabbings. And uh, generally what happens is little pocket knives are the ones. So you, you, somebody carries a little pocket knife with the thing that you can, uh, it's got the little uh, flip thing uh, mm -hmm. and they're little two inch blades and you're coming at me. I got it in my right hand. I take the swipe and I, I go like this to you. What it does is it'll pierce your ribs, go right in. Your heart has something called a pericardial sac and that pierces the pericardial sac, maybe even hits the heart a little bit. Now on its, on its own may not be deadly. If you had four, if you had some treatment right away, uh, you might, you would survive that. But what happens is the pericardial sac then fills full of blood and a condition I think called pericardial tamponade occurs and your heart can't beat. There's no, it, it's uh, flooded around it. And the sac is flooded with blood and the heart can't beat and you just die. Um, so it's deadly force. Now I'm allowed to use deadly force to repel that attack. And if you die as a result, I'm justified in self-defense. Now, what if I, what if Jay walks in? What if the X checker walks in? and says, uh, or sees you coming at me or me going at you. Let's say you came at me first, but uh, then I got you sort of subdued. Now I'm going at you. 
with a knife. And Jay is a, is a, um, you know, he's a self-defense guru and he's a gun carrying pro. So he whips out a gun that, that, uh, that he carries and he just, to stop you from killing me or stop me from killing you rather, he shoots and kills me. Now, this is called third party self-defense. I'm allowed to employ self-defense on behalf of somebody else. So in that situation, Jay is allowed to employ self-defense on your behalf. And he's allowed to use as much force that is reasonably allowed if you were doing it. So he can step into your shoes. He just is, he's Jared for a while and he gets to defend himself. So if you analyze it, that situation just on the face of it, what, I guess the question you would have to ask is, what would the other, what would the girl in pink allowed to, be allowed to do? She's about to get stabbed. What could she do? If the police never showed up, she's about to get stabbed and she stabbed the other girl and killed her. <clears throat> would that be okay? That's the... I think that's an interesting way to start the analysis. And I would say, based on what I saw, yes, absent some other uh, circumstances we don't know. Now the question is, the police show up. I imagine we didn't hear the audio, but what do you think the first thing they said was? I actually have a transcript. He's like, hey, 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 get away, get away, get away. Stop, back up. You could tell he's holding it, and then that that girl looked like she was going for that other girl, and that... um uh, yeah. I mean, he says, stop, 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 yeah. stop. Probably, hey, hold off. Right here. Hey, Whoa. hey, hey, get down. Get down. Before she appears to lunge at a second girl with a knife. And then you've got the other dude doing the boot kick right there. What? The, right in front of him, man. He totally punted that poor girl's head. Jeez. Horrible. So there was something going on there. That looked. Now, again, now, now again so we see, see the headlines. <clears throat> we see the headlines, and then you flip that on. It's like, whoa, wait a minute. That's. That is entirely different, it looked like. And there were 911 calls. I always believe you need to hear those. Yeah. Because yeah. those will change the story quite yeah. often. You're right. You know what I mean? Because you are seeing that segment. That's all you're seeing mm-hmm. is that one segment. Yep. You don't know what happened before. Now, then again, that girl didn't look like she should have been turning to give the sticky stick. Yeah, I mean... Uh, and there it's pause. Put put just that still screen up here. Here's the screenshot. All right. I mean, so it's paused. That's right after this dude punted this that's other. That's right girl. after the boot kick or the drop kick, whatever. And I mean, she's got a blade in her hand. She does. That and gal in the black shirt. Yes, has got a blade. She's got it right there in her right hand. And she looks she, like she's coming right at her. And she looks like she's. Right at her. Yeah. I mean, no question about it. Going right at her. Yeah. Wow. So, I mean, that this fight chaotic. has to have escalated to the point is this where... A, hey, Steve, is this a cop over here? Yeah. Who is that guy? That the might left be a, and short? That's yeah. a police officer, that's a I cop. Think. Yeah, that's an officer. So what was that cop doing? They both got out. He flanked off to the left. The well, cop... There's the, multiple. The, there's two or three of them. There's, right? there's multiple there. This guy yeah. looks like he's probably a bicycle cop. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. All right. So, I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe he's he just likes wearing shorts. He's got the shorts. Yeah, yeah the shorts. Sort of yeah, the, yeah. the Boy okay. Scout look there. All yeah. right. I got gotcha. you. Um, but yeah, the, the, the female in the black shirt and gray sweats is clearly holding a knife <clears throat> in her right hand. Yeah. And looks to be lunging towards the gal in the pink. And the cop has about... She looks like she's rearing back right there to freaking yikes. And, and the police officer there... Man, we could go back and check the time, but it, it looked to be about two seconds to, two seconds to make a decision. Oh, holy yeah. cow. And he's yelling the whole time. Yeah. This is right after he he, and you he get, had his hand out. This is after he had his hand out. Yeah. yeah. Because then I think he went for his hand. And that is a, is a still shot on the, uh, it looks like taken from the body cam video of the police officer who pulled his gun and used it and shot the, uh, shot the girl. So the girl that we're talking about that was shot and killed is wearing pants. She's got a black shirt. She is uh, standing directly in front of this police officer's uh, uh, body cam. And in her right hand is a knife. And she is going towards a street or are cut off uh, by the by the uh, by the car and flanked on the left at the tail or back by the trunk of the car is a police. He, the suspect is within feet of another police officer. He's within the shooting yeah. goes down. I mean, like 10 uh, feet. And just so you know, six feet, probably. Yeah. People, people, I mean, you know, you should. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Handguns really, the further away, the better chance you've got of not getting hit. Oh, I mean, yeah. Because it's just, yeah. 
I mean, it is just it's it's so small the movement that you make. Yep. I mean, yeah. it's just it's micro to to where that bullet's going to go. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm terrible with a handgun. It's it's like lining up a long putt. Yes. Yeah. And if you're off by a millimeter when you hit it, it goes way, it's it goes off feet. by a foot now, at the cup. The other thing you have to factor into this equation is that as the police officer was getting out of the car, there is another guy wearing a hoodie, a a, a, a gray hoodie and jeans, and he booted. I mean, drop kicked somebody on the floor on the sidewalk right in front of this police officer yeah, as I mean, the officer was clearly saying, whoa, 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 stop. Don't. And then he kicks it out, probably out of his peripheral vision. He sees this other girl enter the picture with a knife. I mean, man, this thing is like that. Yeah, it is. Wow. Good and video and, and who I will. And I'm going to watch the cop on the left, yeah, that watching. bicycle cop, because he, I think he's talking to somebody else over there. I think there's a whole like a. A melee freaking of melee man. of sorts going on man this just this whew. all right we're gonna watch kind of creeps me out a little bit man i i if hate seeing see stuff video, like this this will still be on youtube even though it's it not is. live it'll yeah. be on there so you can yeah, watch the video and, and, yeah all right we're going full screen here we go all right. all right this cop's getting out that other cop i can see him he is behind the car right now he's already but there. he's looking the a different way he's already there Walking what up. What is he doing? Pause it. Okay. Oh, hang on. Sorry. Come back. There. Oh, one more. There. How's that? Okay, so he's talking to Pink. There. Yeah. Where did this other girl come from? Because she's not there yet. He's talking to Pink. I'm going to say right now that bicycle cop isn't a very big person. So this, the, the body cam cop is obviously hearing and seeing something because he's, he's got, got his hand, hand up. He's got his hand up. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Because right the, 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 the gal with the knife is not in the picture yet that I can see. No. And he's saying, hey, 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 get away. And then he says, get down, get down, get down. I think when he sees a knife. Man. This happens so quick. We're all, this is only 13 seconds in. And, and we can't, and, and it's only like two seconds or three seconds since he's been out of the car. Right. Like we can't even assess this and we have the video. Now his gun's up. We look back. I'm trying to go. Wow. And then this is the boot kick. Yeah. How in the heck did all this happen? So somebody's on the ground right in front of him, and then the, yeah, now there's the, the gal in the black is there now. Where'd yeah. she come from? Where did she come from? I don't know, man. That's weird. Back it up and let it play. Yeah, I'm going to back it up and just let it go. And All right, he's in the car. Okay, so now we know the bicycle cop is talking to the girl in pink. You have to see him over to the right. Yeah. So he gets wow. out. He walks up to the situation. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Down, down, Hang down, on. down. And now there's boom. a running right there. That's that the girl. girl. That's a girl. So she oh, no, 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 it's not. No, it's, no, it's not. not. Yeah. But it looked back, like that. Those, it, it looked like those Maybe two that were guy, fighting. Did that guy, that, I don't think that, I don't I think, I think the, when well, we thought it was one person, that guy drop kicked, I think he was breaking up a fight. He was. I was just going to say, so the girl that actually got shot, she was fighting this other she was girl, fighting that girl, pushed and, her down. That dude kicked that girl. Yeah. She got up with the knife and, and then freaking went pink. after chaos. Holy mackerel. Yeah, so play, play it again. Here we go. I'll tell you what, the, I get that it girl's now. got some reaction time. He's saying, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. He's going up here. Now, yeah. Kicks that girl. Why is he oh, going? Oh, man. And she. Oh, so, wow. So, so it looks like the Caucasian girl was fighting the girl that gets shot here. Okay. And whenever they hit the ground together, because they were tussling, yep. the, 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 the dude in the jeans, he ends up kicking the girl that was fighting yep. with her. Yeah. So, and she gets the heck out of the way. And that girl got up lickety split and went after the girl in pink. I wonder why. And the police were already there. The, yeah. Pull, pull it back Gosh, again. I got I to gotta see it again. Yeah. One more I mean, time. If I'm on the jury, I would have watched this a hundred oh times. Oh my god, I man! Know. And we're watching this, and it's hard to figure out. But but we're getting walking up, now. walking up, walking up. Whoa, whoa, whoa! So, stop, stop, stop! Here we go. So Pink two are fighting. In. Two are fighting. Boom, boom, Kick. and then she's go boom. man. He saved that girl's life in the pink. She was going to get killed. She was going to get killed, or she's going to get stabbed for sure. And probably more than once, given the, that girl was going after that her. girl was fighting one down to the ground. Yeah, up. got up, 
and freaking now who knows what we don't know is why they were fighting so right. does it matter i ask retort or, or i'm asking as a as a legal issue does it matter if the girl in uh, if the girl in pink started the fight, in other words, did the girl with the knife have a legitimate argument here Jeez. to defend herself? And I think it, it from the from the perspective of the police, I'm not sure that that matters. If they they walk in and somebody's about to stab somebody, and I think they here's the other part of the equation beyond just self defense or defense of others is that the police ordered everybody to stand down and stop, and they didn't. Man, now, there's three cops. That was there crazy. Now. Now, there's a, where's the guy with shorts? Right. Now they're doing their, they're trying to see if she's okay. Boy, this is Oh my awful. God, it's awful. awful. Good God. And, you know, I, I guess there was a comment at the scene, like, you didn't have to kill her. You didn't have to shoot her. It's like, I don't know, I, man. I almost think that he did. Like, uh, seconds. Not and, even seconds. That was a millisecond. And like you said, people are listening to the police less and less. Well, Where before it was like, freezer, get down. It's like, I don't have to do that. So, so yeah. here's the thing. So this cop is looking at this melee. Then he looks at this dude just drop kicks a girl. I mean, kicks her right in the face while, like, while she's on the ground. He's like, hey, do I go after it? And then that girl gets up and... It, like, that cop was on it, man. He, he was on it fast. Now, here's what I want to know. Here's, here's, let me give you the other side. Man. Police officers are not... Uh, there's, there's a sort of a rule that if I'm... Um, let's say that some cop pulls you over and you're driving your car... And I'm another police officer. I didn't see the violation, or some I, the cop who pulls you over doesn't see the violation, but I did, and I phoned into him or radioed over or did whatever and say, "You better watch that big blue Cadillac man. He's pulling some panda suit dude with his balls hanging out. You better pull him over." But you know, by the time that he catches up with you, you know, panda guys, there's just a guy in his, you know, you're just hanging out in your car, nothing going on. He pulls you over. He, the the cop who pulled you over, is entitled to know what I know. It's imputed to him. Um, even if I didn't tell him uh, all of it. Uh, now, you wonder here, does that work a different way? So you've got other officers clearly who are there. You've got bicycle guy. You've got another cop. I think there's at least three, maybe four police officers. Did we see a total of four, I think? Like, what were they doing before? It looked like the last guy was new to the scene. There was a ball guy that walked around behind the car. He had his, he had his firearm out. He puts his firearm back. He might be new to the scene. Yeah. I wonder if there's an argument here that the police who were at the scene before the shooting didn't take enough control of it. It and, appears and, that way because there's a tussle. I mean, yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. And they didn't take enough control of it. And, I, or we, we don't know, I guess. I mean, we have, to, there's probably more footage. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. We don't How know. How can you rush the judgment? So, you know, I mean, that night and run out. We just did it. Like, like we were all taking the side of this cop for doing the shooting, but now I'm thinking, well, you know what? You had other officers there. Why wasn't this situation under control? Why weren't these people in handcuffs? Why weren't these people separated? Why is there still a fight going on when there's two cops standing there? Um, and you could ask that of the of the adults that are standing around, the, the standers by. You could ask that of the police that are standing around. I don't know. Um, and I'm not saying they did anything wrong. But again, this is back to your point, Jared, is that we have to ask these questions and get all the details before we can truly draw a conclusion. I don't think it's unfair to analyze it from self-defense, defense of others. What did the police have a privilege here to stop this? Uh, was the use of force, at least from that guy's perspective, uh, justified? I think we can analyze it, but I'm reserving final judgment until I know everything. And I don't think that they want to bring that race played a card in it. None, whites none, and blacks none, alike. None, in there, none, yeah. none of the, none of it. They were all just that, bodies to me. It didn't yeah, matter. their movement mo motions. Yeah. It was just. It's just all. That's. We, we were calling it pink, man, and, and you know, mean and gray, and black, black shirt, shirt, and, and you know, I mean, and we, cop, we were we were picking them out, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. It's that's crazy. Wow, that was that was nuts. And I tell you what, man, <laughs> what you read in the paper, and once you see that, it's not the same. It is not the same. The feeling no, the is not the same. The first article I saw this morning was police kill sixteen year old right. black girl, right. It Which is horrible. Yeah, it, it's freaking horrible. It, shame on the news. And if you don't, no, have, I mean, I mean, it's horrible. This whole situation is horrible. The sixteen-year-old girl is freaking dead. It's awful. And how do you do that in the media? How do you yeah. not? I, my God. Why? Why wouldn't the headline be? Uh, you could say police shot sixteen-year-old uh, to break up fight. Details pending. Right. Yeah, or a tragic. 
Tra- shooting, tragic, another tragic police another tragic, shooting you know, investigation ongoing. Yeah. At, at least make it so we don't know. It's, but whenever you get the headlines and you've been, you know, I mean, the media has been preaching to you this, right. this, this racism and how horrible and how bad everything is. And then you're like, you get new news. And without looking into it, instincts take over and you're like, it happened again. Happened again. Another shoot. And yeah. the girl who got shot was white, right? No. No, oh, she's black. Okay. No, she's a black girl. I couldn't tell. Um, which, which is telling, right? video i don't know if the police knew or not but um yeah it's a it, it's tragic it may uh, let's just say it to what it is it may be that there was something that occurred before that that would have rendered that shooting bad and it might be that one of the officers didn't do something they should have done to uh contain the situation well it may be that the officer who came up uh it was a good shooting from his perspective because he was saving the life of somebody else who was about to get stabbed we don't that, know. Well, we that's we clearly know. that girl was going to get that other girl. I mean, that's in, a, in a in a blink of an eye. Yeah, but we don't. She know. was off the ground and was on that girl. But I, I guess I'm I'm reserving judgment until I know everything that happened before. Because from a liability standpoint, let's say the police should have. It could be two things at once, right? You could have a situation where the guy who pulled the trigger was justified in pulling the trigger, but the police are still responsible because they didn't do something before the guy who pulled the trigger got there and had to pull the trigger. Well, here's so, your, uh, just to wrap this up, here's that the the girl in the pink is definitely trying to defend herself. I mean, she is reacting to seeing that knife coming at her. Look at her. Oh, no question Look at her about react. it. react. I mean. But what's the other cop doing in the back? Like, I don't I, know. Why That's, is he, why is that happening? Yeah. And can, you asked this question. Where are the adults? 15 year old girls. Man, life cut short for no reason. For no none, reason. None. This didn't have to happen. No, not at all. And somebody was going to the hospital if this guy yeah. doesn't pull the trigger. I think that's pretty clear. It's like, the, yeah. like, you know, who's going to stop that at this point? Now, what I want to know is what the cop at the at the trunk is doing. What's he doing? I don't know. He look. He is almost he faced looked, away. He almost looks like there's somebody else over there. And I th- saw that that he was talking to somebody or He's covering somebody. Something. So it looks like this thing. Might I mean, have been from contained. the start of the video of what we can see, it looks right. like bicycles talking to pink. Yeah. Right. They're At talking. first, yes. And then, you know, I mean, two two females come out in a tussle, hit the ground. Blue jean man. We're keeping tabs on somebody behind the car that we can't see. That's that could be. Actually, that's what I thought happened. Somebody was back around the in the, the video the though, you see who's coming up is is other police officers. So he might just be like seeing who just so showed maybe, up. Maybe, maybe he makes yeah. a mistake there because why well, we just won't know. We don't know. Okay. Not us. This is live. Check it out. Well, Stephen, I guess as a defense attorney, how would you? Uh, I'd want to know more. Pick this apart. You you need to hear the nine one one calls. You need to see the other footage. Yeah. You need to read the interviews. You need to you you need to know the story. I have learned one thing. No matter how sure I am, there's a checklist I have to go through. To Later, the bicycle cop. Yeah, Pink is talking to bicycle. Who's at the back of the trunk of the other car? I don't see, I don't see anybody there right now, but you have no, there all... is right there. That's what I'm talking about. No, no where you had your point right before. here. Yeah, there. No, you have three three people here. Three or four. The the melee that occurs on the tree line there has not yet happened. No. Right, no. Let's go. All right. I'm gonna you want me to just play it? Yeah, yeah just play. Play all it. Right. Pause. Be ready to pause. All right. Pause. All okay, right. now there's four <clears throat> people there. All right. Pink is facing us. I see. See I this? see around five people. Five people. All right. So, and, and now Pink comes towards the cop with the body cam. What is she And saying? what is this guy looking at? He's turned around now. Yeah. What's he turned around for? I think he's practicing the robot. Have they blurred out faces? Yeah, they have. Yeah. yeah. All right, go. Right? Yep. Play. Be ready to hit pause. Pause. All right, so this fight is coming at the police from back where the other car was, and there's two people fighting. These are two girls, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so in the one girl who, I think this is a white girl, yes. she pushes the white girl down. This is the girl that eventually gets yes. shot. Yes. So these two, it didn't even look like they were tussling by the car. Let me back up just a little bit here. Well, we can't tell. What the heck is happening? I We can't tell. I mean, because it happened so fast, they could have been arguing over there. They could have came out of the house. So he is obviously look at his hand. He's not talking to pink. He's talking to whoever's at the side of that other car. Yeah. He's you saying see him? Stop. So this he's thing saying, is happening and he's it seeing is it. Happening. Yeah. He's seeing it happen. Yeah. All right. Go. All right. Here we go. 
So then boom. Pause. Pause. All right. So she's down and there is the girl on top of her that's eventually going to get shot is on, is standing over her now and enter. Uh, and the cop is coming over. There. Yeah. The cop is now facing them. He's going to break that yeah. up. And but as he goes to break up, then we get the girl that's down on the ground gets the head kick. She's going to get the boot. So. But how does the girl does get she shot? Get up, gets huh? up so quick. Hit, yeah. play, hit play and then hit pause pretty much. Right there. Pause. pause. All right. He, knife? He must have seen the knife I think as he she did. went down. There was a knife in her hand. Yeah. And he see there's no other otherwise he wouldn't have drawn his gun. Right. Wow. Go play and then pause. And she's going now right she at now she she's went, going right at. He's giving wow. he's giving the head kick here. Who's that? Why is that guy kicking her? It's like that's that's a because they think, were he I, was ch- those two were tussling and he yeah. was chasing. He was he was trying to get involved within it. Yeah, I wonder why. He, uh, well, right. I, that's not breaking it up this, because it's broken up right now. This appears to be something that happened. Yeah, he's he, been boiling yeah. for, but yeah. He's like, screw you. I'm going to punch you in the head. No, he kicks her. Yeah, hit play. No, punt, I said. Punt. Oh, oh. And then oh look at that. And okay. she's already going. So this cop has two things going on right now. Right in front of him. And what he has to do is decide which one is more deadly. He, whenever he drew, I, I believe you're right. I mean, our opinion from what I can see, it you looks can, like he, you when he noticed it. the blade, yep. he, he drew his weapon. He drew his weapon. Yep. Right like, like that. Yep. Yep. Wow crazy holy cow i'd still be sitting there fumbling with my freaking words I, you know or how are you getting a gun i mean i mean holy yeah mackerel. holy mackerel okay now Dude, we're 16 was... we're paused at 16 seconds so the first now we're five talking, or so we're in the car yeah we're done easily. Yeah, yeah easily yeah. so the car door is opened and, the, and and now he walked up some and, and pink looks like she wanted to talk seconds. to the new cop and uh, because we don't know, I don't, I mean, what if Shorts isn't even a cop? What is he a FedEx right. guy? Could be. I don't even know. You know, you're right. I, I don't know if he's a police officer. No, it, we think now he that, is. I think he is. I think he is. Could be a FedEx guy. Maybe. Now, you I know, mean, I didn't see any gear on him. I didn't see his belt. I didn't, I, he I, looked pretty it's slim. It's distorted. It looks like he's got a belt. All right, let's go. I don't know. So this girl's about to go yeah. down. We'll be able to tell when after she goes down. Pow, pow, pow. Wow. Yeah, she was going to get stabbed. And she's defending herself. Look at that. She's got her leg up. But why she's is Bicycle on the car. Cop, why is this guy at the back of the car not intervening in this at this point? I don't know, let, let it roll out, and you'll see another officer come up and talk to, okay, now short. He ducks oh, for cover. There's people back oh, there. There's, there's people, people there's, back there. there. there, there yeah, I told you. White, yeah. white, white shirt and red shorts. Yep. I just saw I'm that. I'm going to go back. Get, click it back. Let me go back to 15 seconds in. There's, that's what he, he's, he's got another. So there's. He runs away. He's Do got, cops run away like that? Well, if there's guns getting fired, he's going to run. <laughs> you don't want to get shot. Okay, so here, get ready, get You're ready. Right. There so you go. There. So there we got. See, see Who go. is that? That is. I knew there was somebody behind There's a there. car coming, too. Yeah. Or no, the white car's back there. Okay. Jeez, oh, Pete. He looks like he's talking to somebody back. Oh, yeah. my God. She yeah, is. white white t-shirt, red shorts. Yeah. yeah. Man, there's a, this and, is a, a, and a bigger looking guy. This is a whole set of circumstances, man. And, you know, hey, man, this looks like a nice neighborhood. Yeah. I Not mean, for nothing. I'm... Right? Yeah. Like lawns and manicured. Yeah. There's Punt Boy. He's going after it. Man. So what happens? So with go, all this? go hit, get, hit play and, and watch the casino. Bicycle Shorts is back there. He's running behind. Yep. There's a We've person. Got a person there. There's a car. He, he continues. Here's over another to the side. cop walking up on the left. I think yep. he was driving the cruiser that the. And there's another cop coming here, here in a second. Who are those guys? There's three cops we can see, and maybe the bicycle cop. And there'll be another. There's going to be another one that's going to show up, and he'll be to the left. So we have uh, two officers over right there's now. A, there's a girl back there by the garage. Mr. Kick is gone. No, he isn't. He's right there. Where? He's right there. I don't see him. He's Put he's the still on. there. Watch. He's right there, right there. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. That's him. Yeah, that's him. he stood. Around. He stayed around. So this guy's new now, because there was this, this, the cop that just put his gun back, put it away. Yeah, to the left. Yeah, I didn't see he him. He came before. up with the. Uh, he came. Uh, he, he came. From, he came from behind. Came from where the house is. Where'd where that, that other cop go? Where that car was. <clears throat> he might have been talking to people over there. Man, this is a mess. Wow. I tell you what, here, here's my assessment of this. I don't know what the heck happened before we before we see it. There's, I'd say it's bad on its face. 
No, it's just the. All right, let's flip off the. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, there you go. All right. Um, so crazy, and that's you know what's going to happen. I mean, there, there's already uh, that's horrible protest about it, and it just it sucks. The whole nine yards is horrible. It sucks. What's that have to do with Chauvin? It has a lot to do with Chauvin because apparently they were gathered for the Chauvin verdict. Uh, not that they shouldn't have been or didn't have a right to be, but it's like it's, there's always a connection somewhere somehow, and there we are. And man, what? These teenagers looking to stab each other with cops there. With the cops. cops are there, and that girl is like, I don't care. She didn't care. You weren't gonna stop her. Wow. Mm. Man. But once I, again, there might be a story as to why she was gonna stab her. But it looked like she was good. She was looking to take on the world. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. Sure looked like it. Oh well. All right. Well, so at the Blitz, we talked about that, that and for good reason. Yeah, that's a that's a big story, and then rel well, it's relevant to the other one that happened last week at St. Anne's. Yeah, almost you know similar type of thing. This dynamic, in progress mess where somebody's got to pull a gun and use it, and then in the midst of all this, you've got the Chauvin verdict, you've got uh, Maxine Waters making statements, you got people chiming in both sides of the aisle. Boy, this is a mess, total mess. Man, hmm. man, I know. I just. I don't get it. Well, uh, can we can we get to a lighter note, like a naked guy rollerblading with a panda? <laughs> right, right. Boy, we're all sort of speechless here. That was that's sort of hard no, to watch. No, that is that is that's really hard. That to is watch. hard to watch. Man, I had a plan for the show, and it's going a different direction. That's uh, yeah, that's that we weren't expecting that. It got brought in by the Blitz, and yeah. we hadn't totally seen it. And no, to a point, had... if we had, if you had seen all of this before they asked you the question, once again. They ask you a question out of nowhere. What do you think about this, Steve? Michael, hey, what? Steve, a uh, girl was shot last night. What do you think? Oh, I think Man. I better watch it real quick. And but I understand. I mean, this is big news, and and no, it makes I, some I sense. well, it, and it happened thirty minutes before the verdict. So they were apparently gathering yeah. to celebrate. So maybe one wanted it one way, another one at the other. Who knows what it's all that? It's probably, it's, uh, it could be about a boyfriend. It probably could be something stupid that teenagers fight about. Yeah, but my God, have you ever been? Remember when you were a teenager, you ever take a knife after anybody? No. God no. almighty, I've never, I've no. never hated anybody like that. No, I'd be scared. Of, I, I would, that would have scared me. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, that's not. But I know, I know I've had friends that have been assaulted <clears throat> in a bad way. Yeah. Oh, I'm, yeah. I mean, I'm a, yeah. A, a buddy, Jimmy yeah. Mason, if you ever look inside of his face, I dropped, dropped his whole name there on live TV. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, he was, he was, he was at, he was at a, a, a bonfire party. Right. And and I do believe it was, you know, me, he's dating a girl that was dating somebody else with this or that. Uh, and a fight yeah. breaks out and they have the keys in the hand, mm. you know, and uh, he's got scars on his face. Mm. They, they, they bludgeoned him pretty good. And uh, he tried to drive himself to St. Anne's Hospital, got pulled over full of blood and everything like that and got a DUI <sighs> because, you know, he'd been out there drinking and he was just trying to get to the hospital. Man, oh, I had a, I had a man. buddy. They took um, him to the hospital, though. So. I had a buddy. They charged him who uh same kind of thing got i wasn't there for that night but uh some rivals showed up at the house and picked a fight my buddy got clubbed in the nose like down it came like it was close to killing him but it was enough of a club we don't know what it was but i uh, think it was like a tree stump with a v on it like a like a stick or something and it hit him on the nose he still got a big scar from it so i guess there's there's a lot of that going on i mean teenagers are capable of really dumb and you've already said things. it i mean they're rolling cars on chittenden yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, you said everything, everybody's pent up and it, and it gets fed the more and more that, that you hear it. That is definitely it, part of it. You well, know, have, have you, I, I, yeah. I'll speak for my, I'll speak just for myself. There's not a day probably in the last year I didn't wake up with some degree of tension thinking there's the world is off. Like the, like the, there's a disturbance in the force here these mm -hmm. days, you know, it's like something isn't right and nothing ever feels comfortable. It feels like uh, if you're shut down, you can't work, you're not making money, you feel off. If, you're hearing these debates and arguments about issues that have that you Steve, can't control. I feel like I've been kidnapped and dropped on a planet. And no, seriously, it's like a different. Because what existence. a kidnap, what do kidnappers do? They put their hand over oh, your I mouth. See what you're saying, yeah, they stick you in somewhere and tell you can't go out. You'll eat when I tell you to eat, and you'll eat what I give you to eat. Yeah, it's like the stock can't do anything. Syndrome. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're, you're, I feel like we've been collectively kidnapped. It is like we talked about this on the phone the yeah, other day. It's like it's, it's like this this you feel that you have no control and you're you are we are I, I almost feel like there's 
and I resist this to my core, it feels like we should be dependent upon on the, on the government to fix it all or, or, or make us, I, I always go back to government cause I hate it, but it feels like you're dependent. Like, mm-hmm. like, like I don't have control of my own existence right now. That's what it feels like a little yeah. bit, not, yeah. not completely. I'm resisting, but it, it, you just want to say, well, look, can I please go back to work? Uncle Sam, <laughs> you know, can I please no. uh, just do, do what I used to do? And now you can't. Mm-mm. And I don't discount the impact of that psychologically on our society. I just do not. We didn't have Christmas. Well, it's it's only you for two weeks, Steve. You didn't have uh, your birthday party. You didn't get to see your grandma. You didn't have Mother's Day, Father's Day. You didn't, didn't have, have your picnic, high school graduation July, party. You didn't have your college prom, graduation. You didn't, you know. The dates that your first date, you didn't have any of that for these the kids. The Grinches have stolen it from us. And people, what, what, what bothers me the most about it is how quickly those in favor of this kind of shutdown will discount the impact of that. They will say, well, that's important because, uh, you know, we got to save the planet from COVID or, you know, everybody will die from COVID unless we do this. So this is a necessary uh, expense to all that. And to that, I say hogwash. Uh, I say hogwash. It's never been done before. We and, They decided to do stuff that has never been done before. And somebody even told me this, so, I, you know, the suicide rate has gone up. The instance of these violence things have gone up. And the person who, the person who was defending the shutdown said, well, you know, that's only for people who had pre-existing mental health conditions. Of course, you know, they're going to have bigger problems with it. And I just, I didn't respond. I was thinking sort of like pre-existing health conditions that people might be more impacted by COVID. You know, it's like, you can't have it both ways. You can't take the argument that a pre-existing mental health condition has made you uniquely susceptible and therefore not as an important concern for the rest of the people and say, we need to protect the people who have unique other medical conditions that make them uniquely susceptible to COVID-19 they're and basically choosing winners and losers with your health. Yes. And that is the person unbelievable. The, 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 that should never happen. No. By at least not by the government. So no, not at all. Um, anyway, I, we were going to cover, I think what we're going to do is introduce the next topic, but not cover it. We were going to, I had, I was all ready to cover, uh, this court packing mess. Um, there's discussion. I guess we still could. Let's, let's cover a few. Let's just talk about a few of the headlines that I think sure. that, that are worthy of discussion. One is, um, you know, when Biden ran, there was this backdrop of uh, a threat to pack the court, get rid of the filibuster, add D.C., add Puerto Rico states, grab a couple more senators and really sort of uh, secure the power structure. Um, and what that would do is basically take over. Uh, but then those, you know, I think a lot of the moderates and most of the people in the country, if you're asked, if they're asked whether that should happen, they would say no. Uh, and then you had um, immediately, he, uh, this was going back a couple of months, Biden signs an order establishing a committee to explore court reform. And then a week ago, I think he signed another executive order actually establishing a committee uh, to explore packing the court, adding justices to the court. Oops. And um, there's a, um, there was another there was actually a bill coming out of the House that proposed packing the court, adding justice, adding up to adding uh, what would it be three more, thirteen, four more, I or thought. four more, thirteen. Yeah. Yep. And um, uh, Nancy Pelosi uh, says, "Yeah, I hear you. I hear that bill, but we're not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna put it to a vote." Which to me is sort of uh, that's a, a look. I like Pelosi, hate Pelosi. She's no moron, and she is politically shrewd. So that's she's what she's saying is I'm not going to put it to a vote now, but it's don't, coming. Don't tempt me. Don't. All right, we got stuff going on in the background. Don't tempt me. So I, I do want to spend some time talking about this. I've done a deep dive into packing the court and some of the history uh, of when it happened last and what's going on with it. But I think after seeing that video on 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 uh, this incident here in Columbus. I don't know that we should cover that at this point, maybe set that up for next time. Uh, It's going on. There was another bill introduced to entertain eliminating the electoral college. Um, Sort of a similar thing. You get rid of the electoral college. That's another minority safeguard. And I guess what we're talking about are minority safeguards. We can just cover it this way broadly. Our country was founded on this notion of a balance of powers. We were not a true democracy. Everybody says we want to preserve the democracy, preserve the democracy, but we're not a true democracy, meaning defining democracy, that is, as a majority rule. So if it's majority rule, there's three of us here in this room. And Jared, you got 50 bucks in your pocket. I got five. It's a democracy. Jay, you got five. Let's take a vote. 
on whether Jared should give us enough money so we all have the same. I vote yes. I vote yes. <laughs> I vote no. Uh, you vote no. All right, majority rules, give us your money. Yeah. Um, and that's that's the danger of a, of a majority rule scenario. It's like the the, the situation on a, on a lifeboat. Well, we got enough food for three, and we got four of us, so let's draw straws or let's vote. Sorry, son, lost the vote. To the sharks you go. And that, that's the danger of a democracy, a pure majority rule. And what I find is political parties often will champion majority rule only when it fits their, what their, their agenda is, what they want it to be. And, uh, and at the end of the day, you've got, we have balanced, our founders created a structure that basically balanced the powers to keep that from being the case. They, you know, we had a, we had an affiliation of miniature government states and we didn't want the biggest states or the most powerful states to have total control over the least powerful. And we didn't want those with the most population to have total control over the least, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And it was this weird compromise that created the constitution. And um, I, I think any effort then that I would see to usurp power into one branch of government, into one individual party, into one individual person, we have to resist as much as possible because that's too much power and it's, it's going to get corrupted. And then, you know, as we talked last, when we had our fundraiser in here, I was willing to give, I was willing to give up that. Um, oh, what's uh, going on here? We got a problem. Okay. Sorry. Got it. It says, all right. So as we, uh, as, as we argued with Ev, I was just like, listen, I'll give you that maybe your person in charge is virtuous and willing to do the right thing, but I'm worried more about the next person who takes over who may not be so virtuous. So power grabs uh, and unilateral power grabs are always dangerous and always understand that if your guy packs the court now and that's what you want because you're going to get votes on issues you want, well, the next guy's going to pack the court next time and get votes on issues uh, that they want. So. <clears throat> It, it, it's a, it's a short sighted uh, solution to what should be resolved in the way that our founders wanted it to be. So the danger is, uh, and I read this quote and then I think we'll wrap it up and talk about packing the court next time, but yeah, I think we'll get it next time. Cause there was yeah. a bunch of things we were just talking on the phone that I didn't know about that I'd love to hear about, but yeah, then we've yeah. wrapped up too enough much. time today. Yeah. It's too much like to go what? into that. Packing the court. Yeah. That's a, that's a whole show and we'll just have to do it independently. But I, I will say this, I, I heard, I did watch a video of a guy who was in favor of the court <clears throat> and here we're going to cover this in more detail next time, but here's a little hint. The argument was, was basically this. If we don't pack the court, then this, first of all, the, the court has been essentially hijacked by the conservatives. And if we don't pack the court, we're not, Congress will not be allowed to fix climate change. Congress will not be permitted. They will not let Congress fix gun violence. And those are the two big things. And I, I heard that and I heard what his argument was. And, you know, if you say, if you would accept as a premise that one, climate change is an existential threat that'll kill us all in 10 years, um, then you can say, all right, yeah, we should just get rid of the constitution and go pack the court and let con and do what we possibly can. But then he had another premise that I found equally faulty um, because it's, it's, but he took it as true. And that was that Congress could fix it. So he was saying, look, we got to pack the court so Congress can fix a threat that I take as true that the earth, earth is going to end in 10 years and Congress is able to fix it. And then implicit in that statement, in those two assumptions, was a third. And it's not even an assumption, it's a fact. Therefore, we should not have the constitutional freedoms that prevent Congress from doing those things. Because the only way Congress is going to do those things is by forcing individual citizens to act in a certain way or not act in a certain way. And then you're stuck in things like the Bill of Rights. The only way, if you take as, as gospel that gun violence is, has to be solved by getting rid of, by gun control, whatever gun control measures there are, you've assumed that your gun control measures will work. And then you have to assume that Congress can fix it by gun control measures. And then you have to get rid of that pesky Second Amendment to do it. The Constitution is in the way. Therefore, we need to pack the court essentially to eliminate the constitutional protections so we can fix these threats. 
um, with all due respect, not a good argument, at least not where I stand. So um, I think we'll cover that in some more detail. That's a nice little hint of what's to come. Pretty heavy stuff today with that video, man. That sort of took me back. Yeah, took me back too. Yeah. That was uh, yeah. disturbing. Um, now, I think this has been a pretty good live show. If you got comments on it, join the chat, send us a message at uh, lawyertalkpodcast.com. You can go to channel511.com. I think Jared gets those emails or I get them. Somebody gets them. You can call us up. You want your own podcast? That's easy too. Same way. Just reach out, contact us. If you did like a live stream, there's no reason not to just subscribe to channel 511, ring the bell. You'll get notifications every time we go live, which hopefully will be every week. Other shows going live, Jared's Comedians on South High, Panda Boy. I'm not sure we'll be there tonight. We're recording tonight. Though. That's right. Then we'll be in. Then we'll be at the open mic at Red Rock. If anybody's listening to this live and they want to go out there to Black Lake, right outside of Roundsburg, off Broad Street, the Red Rock Pub, Red Rock come on Pub. down. Uh, we'll be recording a podcast, and then we will be uh, performing at the open mic at the Red Rock. Stop on by. So you're doing us. the podcast here and then going out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we do that time and two, you know, I mean, it, it, people got lives, schedules change. Yep. Um, we've done it a couple of times and I like it because a number of times, I mean, these guys, if you haven't checked out the show, check out comedians on South high. <clears throat> it's, it's, it's enjoyment. You know what I mean? There's nothing serious there where it's, it's, it's good times, but there's sometimes there's some semi serious. There's, sharp guys. there's, there's, yeah, there's they're, they're sharp, but I've seen to where they'll start going here and bantering back and forth to where Bobby pretty much wrote a joke on the podcast, went to the open mic and on the drive there, he was like, I just need a little bit more of a premise and to, to get it to line up. Yeah. So he, he had come up with a punchline that he needed the premise to get through. And uh, so the show to the stage to a new joke. That's awesome. So that was good. Uh, I, I do. I'm going to talk to him more. Uh, I've been working with Adam little, a little show on uh, YouTube. If you're YouTube followers right now, go check out a little show. We were just uh filming a couple new episodes for his little show. And uh, that's whenever I got to meet the naked panda. Yeah. Well, and, so and the last uh, podcast is uh, on um, comedians on South high. Put it up there. It is. Uh... <laughs> oh, sorry. Kenny sees boobies. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Banks, Kenny Mock, Bobby Dodds, and host your Yeah, Jeff. and here you go. Right there. They're the boys. Well, as, as, as well as we got the fact checker here, too. I mean, you go, hey, go ahead, you, hit, you yeah. get to play on that. Is we get any sound from there? Yeah, we get, that get one. play on that real quick there. Give, okay. them, give, them, give them a little taste there. A little so they taste. Can, there so you they, go. Can, they can see, see who's uh, coming up Look here. At that. Now, what I need to know is, because this is to the anybody that's out there wants to is everything backwards on just YouTube? Because we see it straight here, but whenever I see it up there, it's backwards. It's, yeah, I think the program's coming out fine. It's, so it's it's the monitor setting up there. Is and it? here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think we're okay. But right. I'm cool here, and it's coming but up now correct on that, over there. Go ahead and go to the, the, the Washington Post that you looked up earlier, and let's show them the video of the naked panda. And uh, like I say, I met this young man. He's a professional skateboarder, uh, rollerblader, so he does know what he's doing. He's He's good at that. Um, he's also a very funny guy, a very polite guy. We're going to have him on the comedians on South high show, but, uh, there was a sighting of a <laughs> naked panda that was rollerbladed in Johnstown, Ohio. I never even heard this. Let's get this up here. Hold okay. On. Hang on here. Um, okay. It's a naked man rollerblading. All right. Get him on, uh, get him up on, get, the get, him, get him on the hang main on, show. Ha hang on here. Come on, nice checker, get on it. I'm looking for the video. Okay, I got a video. He's All right, here we go. Video, folks. He will get it. All right, here we go. So, Columbus, Ohio. A white male was caught on camera rollerblading naked down an eight-lane Ohio. I wonder if he had socks on. If not, he has blisters. I believe he had socks on. Yeah. Here we go. This is hysterical. <laughs> He's got a camera he's got stick. A 360. Yeah, he's got a 360 camera. And he's camera. going fast, on wreck. Boy, that's a heck of a strawberry. And watch this. There are potholes up here near that white line that he goes around. Look at this. He is a professional skater. So the problem with this is it's right there. Look at those potholes he's going around. All right. So I need to do the lawyer talk TikTok on this one because what's going on here is quite <laughs> dangerous. If I do say so, my damn self. <laughs> because what he's done, it's like remember the guys who would. Um, Everybody remembers the guys on 270. They were buzzing around their motorcycles doing crazy stunts. Like, oh, yeah. Their seats yeah. And it's like, I used to get so upset at them because I would say, like, you know what? I don't care if you want to do this, but you're going to make me kill you. Like, you're going to fly off your bike. And I'm going to run over oh, you. Oh, yeah. And I got to live with that. Panda boy. Yeah. We've got some videos. 
if I could transform over to Jay or if I could plug the computer in over there, we could we 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 can end it with we can end it with the go kart. But I had him with a caddy, and like I, I we, we we had said this earlier in, on the Blitz show that was just a podcast to where Shorty's looking through and uh, through Facebook and neighbors that know or whatever these apps are. Somebody was like, "Can somebody please explain to me? Was there a naked panda man rollerblading <laughs> down possible? Clover Valley?" And then somebody responded, we saw it too. He was being followed by an old blue car. Mm. And yeah, that, that was me. That was me. He was, so it was footage. The and and, 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 to and towing him with we'll my, that with, with my classic week. Cadillac yeah. wasn't enough. I had to add, I was like this, so I got a Cookie Monster go-kart. I mean, Cookie Monsters, pandas. I right. can't believe you didn't tell him on your Harley. And uh, well, I, I thought about it. He, that's I'm easy. I've done that off. before. <laughs> I, I would, I'd use the chopper. I'd use the old CFL. All right, let's give him a shot at the studio. Let's get the, the main camera up there, and then we're going to just wrap it up. Main camera for what? For us. Oh, for us. oh I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah there. Ice checkers dropping the ball over there. Um, <laughs> I got a lot going on. Anyway, Brett wasn't here today. Brett wasn't, beard here. wasn't here today. The beard. But uh, that's okay. We uh, we covered some ground. Here's the um, beard. It's always better when the Brett or the beard or a guest shows up. But, you know, we held our own. We'll have more. We're trying it out. This is a fresh run. We yeah, didn't really we, advertise we it. So if you did enjoy the live feed, make sure you tell all your friends. Make sure you subscribe and tell all your friends to subscribe. Why? Because we're good at this, man. It's getting better. We got the cameras going. We got the input. We got the X checker with all the facts and all the all the websites and everything else we need. Boy, I don't know what else could slow us down. So uh, this has been another live or the first live video and audio riveting episode of Lawyer Talk off the record on the air, at least until now.